Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Mokona Man at YouTube. And today we're going to be doing a tutorial on applying pieces from your Bandai kits, be it high grade, master grade, SD or no grade, that has uh, the color separation and articulation features to skewers of different natures for the application of an airbrush without handling the pieces with your hands causing all sorts of problems like fingerprint marks and imperfections. Now you can see with these pieces we have uh, nubs and ball joints, ball sockets, poly caps that are permanently attached because we had to fill in a seam line all sorts of uh, nub and butt joints for connecting pieces together. And I can guarantee you when you cake the entire surface with multiple layers of paint, you're going to have all sorts of fitting issues where pieces will not simply snap together. Also, we may be wanting to mask some areas for appearance sake. And we're going to have to be applying all these different techniques. Now, the type of uh, skewer alligator clip combination I like to use is the HIQ parts. Uh, these are a metal rod that's uh, welded or soldered onto the alligator clip and with some anti-paint coating application. I find when I've made my own um, versions out of uh, wire and skewers, wooden skewers, they seem to break down over time and I find it a bit annoying to rebuild them. They are a bit expensive but on the long run they last. You do not have to use these if you aren't as heavy duty or versatile as I am or <laughs> I'm actually hardcore on them. You can make your own and care for them but I just like something that I can abuse and keep using and it'll be ready and ready again. Now I also use the Mr. Paint Station. Uh, it's, uh, the corrugated cardboard is a very Japanese thing. You don't also have to use it as it does cost a bit. Styrofoam is uh, perfectly acceptable and what 99% of modelers do use, though it does wear out over time, causing the skewers to collapse and bump into other pieces. I do recommend the styrofoam, but uh, this is just what I happen to have and why I like these tiny corrugated cardboard boxes is that you're able to separate the colors of parts once it's all primed. You know which section of uh, pieces are going to be what color. Though, again, however method you want to organize things, it's purely up to you. Of course, besides the traditional skewer and alligator clip, bulldog clips are also very useful. You can buy much larger ones to counteract uh, larger parts, and they just sit like so. There are other interesting and very creative ways other modelers may utilize, such as sticky tape to skewers, blue tack and whatnot. It's a good idea to watch many different work in progresses or tutorials or read them on forums to get a vast idea of how to do all these multiple parts. Another one is using double-sided tape and sticking pieces onto that. So keep your eyes open and you'll constantly find new ways and new methods that may be very interesting. I'm going to use this piece as the main uh example as there's going to be all sorts of problems with it if we are just to paint it but the only goal is is the outer surface to get the paint whatever happens on the inside isn't much concern we've got a poly cap some butt joints a ball joint to cover now we're going to be using masks to cover them and most likely the this area is going to be where the alligator clip is going to clip onto for the mounting before paint. The idea or tactic we need to think about when looking at each piece is where are we going to connect the clip if we 
because we do not want uh, any damage to a surface that's going to be painted or otherwise we'll have to paint over that area again and if there is no place to connect thinking of other tactics of course leaving a piece on a surface only painting half whiting it for dry and flipping again is acceptable but that's a lot of double handling and if we can avoid that great if we can't well that's the fact of life these are the three forms of masking I like to use for this method of modeling uh, blue tack is very versatile once uh, painted on the paint just flakes straight off and sticks to any surface you can practically keep using this stuff until it gets so grotty and black that it can't stick you throw it out and buy more it almost lasts forever Mr. Neo Mask or any type of latex masking agent is always useful for the really weird and hard or small ones to get into particularly the finer high grades and any sort of masking tape as you're not applying the tape to an actual painted surface where lifting paint is an issue but the Tamiya stuff also does a good job if that's the only thing you have here we go now we can see that the problematic part has been covered including the ball joint the poly caps with tape and everything else with blue tack and even if I was to touch it it would not affect it yet the areas that I want paint on has been completely unaffected so I'm going to put my skewer right through this hole and it's going to be mounted right here with its friend ready to pick up and spray immediately not too bad here are the other examples of many butts and holes and connection pieces being filled now in the way of hooking up with uh, the alligator clips you can see there's a lot of bars on the inner parts or pegs or where that tape is that I'm able to connect the alligator clip this piece here so it shouldn't be a problem except for this one I don't have anything obvious that I can connect a alligator clip to but what I'll do is I'm going to surround the tip of an alligator clip in blue tack and stick it in this hole so again not a problem and this is everything mounted ready for painting and the boxes labeled as well candy magenta uh, this lot was not difficult at all to mount on the skewers there was plenty of opportunities regardless of how small they are to grab on except for that one but still we came to an easy and obvious conclusion not very difficult just need to use your head and strategize how you do connect things in accordance to the surface being painted areas that need being masked and whatnot thank you very much for watching and until next time these uh, pieces will definitely snap together in final assembly very easily catch you later